Hey, this is Low Whisper, and we're here with Fear the Night for the PC. It's a relatively new uh, zombie-type game, survival. Now, this is pre-access, early access, so the game's not completed yet, but uh, it still runs quite good most of the time. A lot of people want to play single player, and since it's early access, there's not just a simple button you can push to uh, do early access. So I want to do a quick tutorial video of how to set up your own LAN single player game to show you really how easy it is. Basically, start off, we load our game just like you see here. This is the first screen you'll come to. That uh, All that writing in the upper right is just... Uh, notes of uh, every time they do an update uh, or fix or things like that. You can read through there sometime if you got time. You want to kind of see what they've added through time. Five choices at the bottom. Right to left, exit, credits. Want to see kind of who made the game and how it was, who all was involved. Options. Uh, you can go here if, let's say you have an older PC and uh, you can't have all the graphics screaming at uh, like epic like you see them for the most part here uh, if your computer's older you can uh, turn these settings down some so your game will be more stable and uh, play faster uh, you can set the resolution you can do all sorts of things advanced yet more little settings to tweak it uh, the game itself just to the best suitable for your particular PC. Make sure you do apply and save any changes if you make any there. Key bindings. Uh, a couple things. You just start a game these days. There's not much instruction. Uh, this is kind of nice to see kind of what keys on the keyboard do what within the game. Uh, you can change these. You can uh, uh, rebind those keys and again make sure you apply and save uh, so that's always good. Any one of these screens you're in here, hit escape key, go back to the screen we just were. Now, join server over here on the left, uh, that's if you're kind of want to jump in there and join a server already up and running. In our case, we want host local because that's what we're going to be accomplishing here on the single player game. When you click here, you come to a, a general and advanced settings for the game itself. Uh, if you want the days to last longer, if you want the nights to be shorter, do you want more experience every time you level up? Um, you get more and more experience at a faster rate. Uh, when you kill something, you make something, you harvest something. Uh, you can adjust those there, really tweak the game, or just leave them be as, as they are. Advanced, just some more. You can see my day at the bottom there is uh, running very slow, so I have longer days. Uh, blueprints, that's just kind of a graphic showing some different things within the game, the items themselves, that you will be interacting with at some point, most likely. Now, in this case, on the left, up top, join host, right below that, where you see LAN, single player server. I already have one in the system, so when I click that, mine's filled in already. Yours will be blank. Uh, basically, you're going to have a session name. What do you want to call your game? whatever you want to name it. You're going to set your own admin password. Uh, the admin password and server password are the same exact password. Uh, so basically you're just creating a password there and then writing it again. Just kind of like you do online, filling out a form, put your password, repeat your password to make sure they're both the same. Uh, once you've done that, name password, hit accept. The game itself is going to start loading. Now here, it takes a little bit of patience because this takes about a minute or so to uh, start a game or, in your particular case, create a whole new single player LAN server. Now anywhere from about 23 seconds to 33 seconds, a message will come back, tell you how much time it's has elapsed, and there you go, 22.69 seconds. Uh, it's running a little faster. Now we're about halfway there, and uh, it's in the process of, in my case, loading where I last saved. Uh, in your case, if you're creating a new server, it will take you to the character creation screen. I'm going to create another video showing that part of it, how to join a server, 
how to create a character, and how to basically start the game. Uh, just some tips and some tricks that I've learned mostly through trial and error, or sometimes you pick up a little bit watching YouTube videos, or you see a little note here or there, and uh, you're like, oh. Now, if you see here, server XRAM777, that's the name of mine, has successfully started. You're going to go back to your game, just click the icon down at the bottom of your screen. Now, under sessions, make sure a session filter is set to LAN, L-A-N. Not official servers or any of that other stuff, it's the last one down. I just refreshed the screen by doing that, or you can hit refresh. There is my game, XRAM777, all highlighted in white up there. Click join. Now, you're here, you're going to put in whatever that password was that you created earlier. And now the game will load. It, uh, most of the time it loads quite quickly. Uh, but as you saw, that was really not very complicated. Now I have had times where I was trying to load into my game and uh, it kind of uh, st got stuck along the way or froze the game and I had to kind of control alt delete to uh, get out of that little mode. But as you see, uh, my game is loaded and uh, I'm playing and this is the server. Uh, just to show you, uh, I've been to all these places that's, that aren't black in color, which is not really a lot of the map, but if you notice, if you look at my, uh, oops, my character itself, I'm at level 40. I can't go up in, any higher in levels or gain experience. However, I can continue to play the game like normal because I've not really accomplished a whole lot really in the game. If you look at the whole game and the whole map, it's a big picture. And uh, if you're a single player, then of course it takes a lot longer to do certain uh, challenges within the game than if you've got a team of, of a group of people. So uh, again, this was just a quick tutorial how to set up a single player uh, land game if you don't want to play with other players. I hope you learned a little bit of something, and uh, I uh, hope you'll join me uh, as I uh, make other videos. This was just uh, episode one. Episode two will be coming shortly. Uh, so again, thanks for tuning in, and uh, this is Low Whisper with Fear the Night.